Did you know that there was a dinosaur with a long, thin nose that lived on Earth with T-Rex? How did this one-of-a-kind trait change how it survived and how it hunted? Imagine an interesting late Cretaceous animal that was not quite as famous as the T-Rex, but still very interesting. Explore the world of Kienshausaurus sinensis Pinocchio rex and find out how it managed to be so light where it fit in the food chain, and whether it had feathers as an adult. We will explore the fascinating world of Kienshausaurus sinensis in this video, looking at its unique physical traits, its place in the prehistoric food chain, and the role it played in evolution. This prehistoric animal is full of surprises from the time it was found during building in southern China to the part it played in helping us learn more about the different kinds of tyrannosaurs. If you're a dinosaur fan like me and want to know about different types of dinosaurs, subscribe to the channel right now. We're bringing you a complete video series about every type of dinosaur with the latest information. Our next video will delve into the most shocking facts about Kienshausaurus sinensis, so stay tuned. In 2014, the remains of a dinosaur called Kienshausaurus sinensis were found deep in the heart of southern China, close to the city of Gansu. These dinosaurs were unlike any others that had been seen before. During their daily work, building workers found some strange bones buried in the ground. This was the start of the story. Without knowing it, these workers had found the fossils of Kienshausaurus sinensis. They were so excited about what they had found that they carefully took the preserved bones to a nearby museum so that paleontologists could look at them. It wasn't just dinosaur bones that were found. This amazing find changed the course of history. Scientists now have solid proof of long-snouted tyrannosaurs, a group of dinosaurs they had only guessed existed in the past. The Kienzhausaurus sinensis fossil was the last piece of the puzzle that showed that these unique predators used to live in Asia. Why did it possess a light build, unlike its cousins? Compared to other tyrannosaurs, Kienzhausaurus sinensis was very light, which made it stand out. This one-of-a-kind trait probably was evolved to help it move faster and turn corners better, so it could catch smaller, faster food in its natural environment. Tyrannosaurus rex had a big, strong body, but the Kienzhausaurus had a lighter body that helped it get through thick greenery and move quickly during hunts. This change shows that while other tyrannosaurs relied on their size and strength, Kienzhausaurus used its speed and agility to survive in its environment. This shows a unique way that hunting dinosaurs evolved. Why did it have a long mouth, different from other tyrannosaurids? Let's talk about what makes its long, thin mouth stand out. Unlike its cousins, which had big jaws, the Kienzhausaurus had a long snout with narrow teeth. It wasn't just for looks, it was a perfectly Han version. Its long nose and thin teeth made it great for grabbing smaller animals. Instead of using physical force like T-Rex did, Kienzhausaurus could grab fast, sneaky animals with great skill. Focusing on animals that were too fast or agile for its bigger relatives to catch well, this specialization helped it fill a gap in the environment. Let's look at the skulls of Kienzhausaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex to see how different they were. The T-Rex's strong head was built so that his powerful bite could break bones. Kienzhausaurus, on the other hand, had a longer and more delicate head. This change in structure points to a different way of hunting. While T-Rex was a top attacker that used brute force to win, Kienzhausaurus was a better hunter that used skill to catch smaller prey. To picture these differences, think of the T-Rex's huge skull, which is shaped like a battering ram and can tear through bone and skin. Now, picture the Kienzhausaurus's long skull, which looks more like a surgeon's scalpel, and was intended for surgical precision when catching fast prey. Not only does this difference show how different the Tyrannosaurid family is, but it also shows how evolutionary changes can change the ways that these extinct predators lived and hunted in their environments. The physical traits of Kienzhausaurus sinensis show that it was not just another T-Rex copycat, but a skilled hunter with its own special tools for surviving in the late Cretaceous world. What position did it have in its food chain? While living in the past, Kienzhausaurus sinensis was an important part of the environment because it hunted smaller animals like lizards and feathered dinosaurs. Because it had a special diet, it didn't have to compete directly with bigger Tyrannosaurus like Tyrannosaurus rex. Kienzhausaurus probably relied on its speed and accuracy as a hunter to catch its prey quickly by going after smaller, faster animals. Because of this change, it was able to do well without having to directly compete for resources with the top predators of its time. This shows how special its place was in the late Cretaceous food web. Did it have feathers until adulthood? The exact answer to the question of whether Kienzhausaurus sinensis had feathers until it became an adult is still unknown and is being debated and researched by scientists. Most likely, Kienzhausaurus had feathers, especially when it was young, like many other theropod dinosaurs. 
But it's still not clear these feathers were kept on into adulthood because there isn't any direct fossil evidence that shows feathers on adult animals. Some similar tyrannosaurs may have had feathers when they were young, but lost them as they got older. So it's possible that Kansasaurus had feathers when it was young, but more finds and studies are needed to prove for sure that it had feathers throughout its life. What kinds of settings did Kianshausaurus sinensis do well in? It's possible that Kianshausaurus sinensis did well in southern China during the late Cretaceous period, when the weather was warm and humid. This area would have had lots of plants and animals, so this quick hunter would have had plenty of food. How did finding Kianshausaurus sinensis change the way we think about how Tyrannosaurus evolved? When Kianshausaurus sinensis was found, it showed us a new group of long-nosed Tyrannosaurus that had been unknown to us before. This helped us learn more about how Tyrannosaurus evolved. This finding challenged what scientists thought they knew about the diversity and distribution of Tyrannosaurus, showing how complicated their evolutionary history is. What could go wrong in the environment where Kianshausaurus sinensis lived? Kianshausaurus sinensis probably had to deal with other animals that could eat it as well as changes in the environment, like temperature change and competition for resources. Because it had to deal with these problems, it evolved special traits like a light body and a long mouth that helped it hold its own in its environment. How did the Kianshausaurus sinensis have babies and take care of them? There's a lot of guesswork about how Kianshausaurus sinensis reproduced, but it is likely that it laid eggs like other theropod dinosaurs. Parental care habits, like keeping eggs warm or watching over hatchlings, may have been present, but it's hard to tell from fossils alone. What do the preserved remains of Kianshausaurus sinensis tell us about how it behaved and how it interacted with other animals? The fossilized remains of Kianshausaurus sinensis mostly tell us about its food and physical traits. Behavior and social structure are harder to figure out, but we can get a sense of them by comparing them to other tyrannosaurs and theropods that are linked to them. The finding of Kianshausaurus sinensis was a turning point in our knowledge of how tyrannosaurs evolved, showing that this famous group of predators was actually very diverse. Together, Kianshausaurus sinensis and its related species Aeliuromus from Mongolia strongly suggest that long-nosed Tyrannosaurus lived all over Asia during the late Cretaceous. This finding contradicts what we thought we knew about Tyrannosaur diversity and regional range. It suggests that these dinosaurs evolved to live in different types of environments across the continent. When paleontologists found Kianshausaurus, they created a new branch of the Tyrannosaur family, which they named Aeliuromi. This taxonomic grouping shows how these old predators evolved in a lot of different ways. In contrast to their deep-snouted relatives, Aeliuromini species like Cadenshausaurus and Aeliuromus had lengthened snouts and special teeth that helped them do well in different types of environments. During the late Cretaceous, different Tyrannosaur lineages evolved different ways to hunt and adapt to their surroundings. This shows how dynamic evolutionary processes were at the time. Finding Kianshausaurus sinensis not only helps us learn more about Tyrannosaurus and their different types, but it also tells us a lot about the complicated environments of Asia in the past. Paleontologists are still putting together the story of how these amazing animals lived and changed over millions of years by finding these evolutionary links. This investigation has focused on the unique features of Kianshausaurus sinensis, an interesting Tyrannosaur that stood out with its long nose and unique traits. Compared to its more famous relative, the T-Rex, the Kianshausaurus was smaller and lighter, and its long, narrow mouth made it good at catching smaller, harder-to-catch food. In the late Cretaceous environments of Asia, these traits made it stand out as a predator with a unique way of feeding. The finding of Kianshausaurus sinensis has huge implications for how we think about the diversity of Tyrannosaurs and how they evolved over time. Scientists have taught us more about how these top predators changed to fit into different natural niches by finding long-snouted tyrannosaurs like Kianshausaurus and Aeliurmus. Not only does this help us learn more about old ecosystems, but it also shows how predators and prey interacted in this important time in Earth's history. As our trip into the world of Kianshausaurus sinensis comes to an end, I urge you to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to see more interesting videos about ancient animals. How do you think the Kianshausaurus sinensis was able to do well in its environment? Leave your questions and thoughts in the comment below. Your interest in the mysteries of the past keeps us going as we continue to learn about the huge range of dinosaurs that used to live on Earth and how they changed over time.